This is lesson 38 on decoders. This is an example of a 2 to 4 decoder. There are two inputs, A and B, and four outputs, Y0 to Y3. Only one of the Ys is 1, depending upon what the input is. If the input is, say, 1, 0, 1, then Y1 is 1. If it's 1, 1, say, 3, then Y3 is 1. Sometimes the outputs are active low, as shown here, in which all the outputs are 1 except the one which selects the input. So the output decodes the input. You can tell what the input is by just looking at which of the outputs is 1. Here's an example of a 3 to 8 decoder. There are 3 inputs, 0 to 7, and 8 outputs, y0 to y7. One of the outputs is 1, depending upon what the input is. So in general, a decoder will have n inputs and 2 to the n outputs, and often there's an enable signal. If this enable signal, for example, is 1, then it behaves as a binary decoder. Otherwise, all of the inputs are either all high or all low, depending upon whether the outputs are active high or active low. Here's an example of a TTL decoder. This is one of the old 74139s. It's a dual 2 to 4 decoder, and it has an enable signal G. In this case, the outputs are active low, depending upon the inputs B and A, but G has to also be low to enable it. If G is 1, then it's disabled, all the outputs are 1. Incidentally, this uh, decoder can also be used as a demultiplexer. You remember multiplexers took, say, four inputs and fed them to one output depending upon the um, control signal. Here we can think of the control signals as being B or A. Here the input is G, and now there are four outputs. So you see, depending upon what B and A are, then this value of G will be steered to the corresponding output. If G is 1, then it's disabled and that output will be 1, so it looks as if it just goes through. So this is a case of a demultiplexer, just the opposite of a multiplexer. Here is a, another TTL 3 to 8 decoder, the 74138. Here there are two enable signals. G1 has to be 1, G2 has to be 0 to enable it, and then there are th three inputs, C, B, and A, and again this is a case of an active low output. This shows how you can make a 3 to 8 decoder from two 2 and 4 decoders with an enable signal. Notice that A2 is connected to the enable of the second one and then through an inverter to the enable here. So if A2 is 0, then this enable is 1 and this one 0. So these will all say be low, for example. And then as A0 and A1 goes to 0, 1, 2, 3, the output will go to D0, 1, 2, 3. Then as soon as A2 becomes 1, so you're at say 4, 5, 6, and 7, when this is 1, this is 0, so it disables the first decoder. These are all zeros. This one's enabled, and now when it goes 4, 5, 6, and 7, the outputs will go 4, 5, 6, and 7. This shows how to make a 4-input tree decoder. Here there are 5 2 to 4 decoders and it produces a 4 to 16 decoder. This first one, the, this is enabled, so for example, suppose the input is a 6, 0, 1, 1, 0. Then in this decoder you really have a 0, 1, which is a 1, so the, out, the 1 output comes out, and these outputs all go to the enable of each of these four. So only this one is enabled, the others are disabled, so their all outputs are all zero. The x1 and x0 inputs go to all of the 
four inputs on level two, but since only this one is disabled, the one zero here, which is a two, is a one zero, so the two output is one, and this is Z6. So the zero one one zero gets decoded in this four to sixteen decoder. This is what's called a four input coincidence decoder. There are two four to sixteen decoders. This one provides all of the column. This four to sixteen decoder provides all of the rows. And at each intersection there's an AND gate. So for example, this shows an example where the 8-bit input is 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, which is 36. The output of this one, since it's 0, 0, 1, 0, it's really a 2. So this 2 out of these 16 outputs goes along, which just enables this row. And then the input to this one is 0, 1, 0, 0 which is a 4, so only the 4 output line is high, and so when this column is high and this row is high, only this AND gate is enabled, and so the Z36 output gets connected to 1. These coincidence decoders are often used to decode RAMs, for example, where uh, this could be an input address to a RAM, and you could select a particular uh, bit location to enable 